Hello guys, Marco Schwartz here from the Open Home Automation website and today I will make a short review of a new board I just received which is right there. So this board is an Adafruit ESP8266 board but in the feather version which means it's a very small and neat board that hosts the ESP8266 chip and the very nice stuff about this board is that not only it's small it's tiny, it's compatible with all the feather rings that I will also talk about in the video. So that's small add-on boards that you can add to your projects. But also this board is easy to program. So you don't actually need any FTDI USB converter to program it. You can just plug it right into your computer via USB. I will show you that in the video and just upload your program just as you would do with an Arduino board, for example. So let's get right into the review. So this is how the Adafruit further board uh, for the ESP8266 looks like. So as you can see, it's very tiny. You have uh, the chip on the left, so it's an ESP12 chip. And on the right here, you have a connector for a battery. So that's very convenient if you want to power your project by batteries. And here, you have the USB port. And the nice thing that I already said about this board is that you just need to plug a USB cable to your computer and then you can program the board. So you don't need any FTDI uh, board like other ESP board to program it. You just need a single micro USB cable and you will just be able to program this board without pressing any button on the board itself. So it's very easy to use. Then, as you can see, there are headers here. So this is made to stack other uh, feather boards on this board here. And these feather boards are called winds, so you can add extensions to your project very easily. A bit like Arduino and the shield. So for example, I have a few winds here. I will show you what I have. Uh, here you have uh, a motor uh, feather win. So this is what I use for the ball to control DC motors or um, small uh, mobile robots as well. Here, it's more for fun. You have uh, a, a win with a lot of um, LEDs, so you can control each and every one of them, also with different cars. Here, that's a project that will come soon on the blog. Uh, it's an OLED screen that you can just add on top of the board. And finally, the one I will show you as a short example in this um, project is a relay uh, win. So you can just uh, plug that in and then connect any device you want just here. So that's uh, the presentation of the board. As you can see, it's very easy to add more features on the board using these wins. So we are now going to assemble the project. As we just want to test if the feather board is working, we just want to demonstrate the features. I will just take the feather board here and a simple uh, relay feather wing just here. I will just assemble this board and basically in the project we are just going to see if we can control the relay using the feather board. So I will just take this one here and it's really easy. You just need to plug the board just as you would do with an Arduino shield. So just plug them like this. And here you go, you have a completely assembled project. So note that I used a simple wire here from the signal pin to pin number five on the board to make sure that the signal of the relay, so the pin that will activate the relay is connected to pin number five of the board. So we are now going to see how to use the feather board to make a very simple project where we will control this relay via Wi-Fi. So for this, I will use the ARIST library, which allows you to very easily control uh, all kinds of chips, but in especially the ESP8266 chip. So this is a pretty standard um, stage for the ARS API. We import the libraries for the ESP and the ARS li um, library as well. 
here you need to put your Wi-Fi name and password. And in the setup, we just give an ID and a name of on the board, return it to the Wi-Fi, and in the loop, we simply handle all the connections coming to the board. So now what I will do is I will make sure that I selected the right board. So I have the Adafruit ESP8266. There is no uh, option for the feather in particular, but this will work just as well. Then you need to make sure that you are selecting the right USB port. And as you can see on the picture, um, the feather board is now connected to my computer via a USB cable. And you need to look in the Arduino ID for this USB to URAT um, port here, which means that we don't need actually any FTDI board to program this uh, feather board. So that's very neat if you need to make a lot of development and show, change the code and try it uh, very often. So I will set this and now I will just press upload. So it will now compile the sketch for the board and then upload it on the board. As you can see, it turned red and now it's uploading on the board. So that's very nice with this board. I didn't have to do anything to put it in, uh, in bootloader mode. It's all handled on the board itself. Okay, so now it has been uploaded to the board. So what I need is the IP address of the board. For that, I will open the serial monitor that you can see here. So sometimes when you miss it, um, the IP address will come up later. So I just need to reset the board here. So I will do that now. Here you go. You have the IP address appearing here. So 0 0.108. And to send uh, comments to the IRS API, I will use a tool called Postman. It's very neat to make a request to uh, RESTful services like our board here, but you can also use your own web browser. So I just want to see if it answers to uh, commands. So I will, I will send the ID command. As you can see, it, it answers very fast. Uh, its name is Feather, that's what I put in the code. So now my relay on the add-on board is connected to pin number 12. So I will first put pin number 12 as an output. So that's done, I have the confirmation, pin D12 set to output. And now I will turn it on with digital 12 1. And let's see if it works. So as you can see on the board, the um, LED just turned on, meaning the relay is activated. You should also have heard the sound maybe. And now to turn it off again, I will just do the same operation with a zero at the end. And as you can see, immediately the relay is turning off on the board. So that's a very convenient board to make home automation and IoT projects. As you can see, it's very easy to use with the Arrest uh, library, but also with other libraries. It's very fast to program and the feather rings give you a very nice way to uh, program the board and to extend its features. So you can add a relay, you can add a motor shield, an OLED screen, and all kind of extensions that gives you a very powerful ecosystem around this feather board. So this is already the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. In this video, I reviewed the Adafruit ESP8266 Feather board, which as we saw is a very neat board for your home automation and IoT projects because it's really easy to configure and to use along with Feather Winds, which are these small add-on boards that we also saw in this video. You can find the whole review of this board with more details on our website. You will just find the link below the video. And as usual, I'm waiting for your comments. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.